Hi, I'm Roger and welcome back to the Tractor Tech Channel. Today I want to talk about something that I find very annoying. It is the front axle oil level on the Kubota BX Series tractor. You also hear a little bit about it on the B Series and other brands of subcompact and compact tractors, but it's mostly on the Kubota BX tractors for some reason. Every time somebody purchases a Kubota BX Series tractor, somebody's going to come along and say, after you run it a few hours, you need to check the oil and the front axle. If the oil was filled properly at the dealer and you don't have any leaks, the oil level should not be low. There's nothing wrong with checking the fluid, but your oil level should not be low. Front axle takes gear oil, which is a thick oil, and on these smaller tractors, the front axle is not very big, like on a larger tractor. So what happens is the dealer pumps the oil in it real quick, then they slam the plug in it and check it, and the oil has pulled up, and since the gear oil is thick, it hasn't leveled itself out and ran down into all the cavities that it should. So they get a false reading of it being full when it's really not full. So that's why when people run them around for a couple hours after they're at home, they think they're low on oil. When they bought the tractor, it was probably never full on oil. I'm going to show you how I refill the front axle on a Kubota BX tractor to help avoid this problem. If you look on both sides of the tractor on your steering knuckle, there are these bolts. These are to allow air out. I'm going to wipe this off since there's some dirt there and remove it. You'll need a 14 millimeter socket. I'll do the same on the left side. Be careful when you remove these bolts, there is a sealing washer, so do not lose that washer or you will have a leak. And if your tractor sets out in the rain or you wash it, that could allow water to get down into your front axle. We can remove the fill plug. Now this is where most dealers are going to go ahead and start pumping the oil in. That's perfectly fine because when the dealer is prepping a tractor like this, they're probably also going to be adding something like a mid-mount mower or a loader or doing some other checks on the tractor. So if you want to go ahead and put oil in and then go like lubricate your mower deck or do something like that, then come back and check it, that's perfectly fine. If you want to speed up the process, I have a little trick for that too. Since the fill plug is here on the left side of the tractor, it's going to take a little while for the oil to run over to the right side of the tractor. So to speed that up, what I'm going to do Now the tractor jacked up on the left side, this is going to allow the oil to run over to the right side more easily. I just wait a couple minutes, especially if it's colder weather because the oil is going to be thicker when it's colder. So now that it's been a couple minutes, you can jack the tractor back up and remove the block. Now that the left side has been let down, from being jacked up. We can check our front axle oil level again. Be sure that you have the check stick fully seated. If you need oil, add oil at this time. If it's still full, you're fine. And just to be safe, I'm going to put the block under the right side of the tractor to make the left side go down. Even though all the oil is probably going to run over in here pretty easily on its own, we'll just do that to be safe. I'm going to jack the tractor back up and remove the block. Now after waiting a couple minutes from having the right side jacked up, we're going to check the oil 
one last final time. And top the oil as necessary. The bleed bolts can be reinstalled in the front axle. By following this procedure, it ensures that you have oil all the way over into the right side of the axle. If you buy a tractor and you run it around a little bit and the front axle oil is low, whoever prepped the tractor did a poor job. And if that's the case and you need to top it, I would still follow this procedure to be sure that it is completely full. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it.